Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to explain a very nice trick to find the square of any number from 101 to 1000 means any three digits number, any three digits number. Okay. So in my last video, I have already explained to find the square of any number from 1 to 100. Okay. And so those who have not seen that video yet, please go and watch that video. You can find the link of that video in the description section below or in the card section. The card section you will see, you can see there is an icon like this, eye icon somewhere here. If you click on that, you will find the link of that video. So go and watch that video. So and again also guys, one request if you are going to like this video and you, you think that this video is helpful for you in doing the fast calculation, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. That will be a very huge support from you guys to us. Okay, so let's start with your trick. So guys, listen my words very, very carefully. So I'll go with an example. Suppose you will have to find the square of 212. So what you will have to do? Find a number which is, which is having two zeros and which is nearer to 212. So number which is having two zeros and nearer to 212 is what? It's 200, correct? It's 200. So in order to get 200, you will have to subtract 12 from it. So when you will subtract 12 from 212, you will get 200. So what you will have to do? Just add 12 also. So when you will add 12, what will you, you, you get? You will get 224, correct? Put a multiplication sign over here. And then what you will have to do? You will have to write 12 square. So 12 square is 144, write it over here. Then what you will have to do? Divide this 200 with 100. So when you are going to divide this 200 by 100, what will you get? You will get 2 multiplied by 224. And here, what you will have to do? Just mark two, 2 digits. Just you will have to mark 2 digits. So multiply 224 with 2. What will you get? You will get 448, correct? You will get 448. And here it's 144. So what you will have to do? So now you got your answer. What is your answer? I write this 44. Then add this one to this eight add it so what you'll get you'll get four four nine this is your answer guys this is your answer means the square of two one two is equal to four four nine double four that's your answer hope you guys understand this anyway i will take one more example so let's take one more guys i will recommend to watch this video till end why i am saying because i am going to tell you different different examples and i will also so if you see different different examples you will under, understand ki what kind of number you will have to take okay so for example suppose you will have to find the square of 389 so one number i have taken one in this case i have taken this number 212 because it's 12 more than 200 correct in this case, I am taking this number 389. Why I am taking this number? Because the nearest number which is having two zeros with this is your 400. Correct? So 400 is your 11 more than that. So you will have to add 11. So what will you if you have if you will have to add 11, then you will have to subtract 11 also. So if you are going to subtract 11 from 389, what will you get? You will get 378. Correct? And what I have told you? 11 square. So what is the value of 11 square? 11 square is your 121. Write it over here. Okay. And underline these two digits. Leave this one apart. Okay. Now divide this by 100. So if you are going to divide this by 100, what will you get? 4 multiplied by 378. And here it's 121. Underline the last two digits. Then multiply 378 by 4. If you multiply 378 by 4, what will you get? you will get this 2 then 1 and then 15 so 1 5 1 2 and here it's 121 next now you got your answer see right here this 21 right here 21 then this one will go this side and you will have to add it so when you add it you will get 1 5 1 3 so 1 5 1 3 2 1 is your answer this is the answer of 389 square hope you guys understand this so now I'm going to take one more example, similar example, which is somewhere nearer to suppose uh, you will have to find the square of 679. Okay. So same thing, but 679 square 679 is 21 more than is 21. If I'm going to add 21 in 679, what I will get? I will get 700. You will have to find the nearest number, which is having two zeros. Okay. And now subtract 21 from this. So see, if you add it, you will have to subtract it also. 
if you subtract 21 from this what will get 9 minus 1 8 7 minus 2 5 6 58 correct and same 21 square 21 square is 441 underline these two digits divided by 100 now multiply 658 by 7 if you multiply 658 by 7 what will you get you will get 4 6 0 6 correct just check it by multiplication so 4606 and here it's 441 and you underline these two words that's your answer means your answer will be 41 right here this 4 will go this side you will add it so 4 plus 6 10 so your answer is 461041 that's your answer if you want you can check with your calculator means the square of 679 is 461041 hope you guys understand this okay and guys if you are enjoying this video if you if you think that this video is going to help you to do the multiplication in your exam please subscribe the channel and please hit like button to support us okay to show that okay you actually liking this video okay okay so these are the things which i have told you i have told you different different examples here i have explained hold on here i have explained 212 which is nearer to 200 then these things to now I'm going to find a number. This is very important. Vera. That's why I told you to watch this video till the end. Okay. Now suppose you will have to find the square of 747. Okay. So in this case, this 747 is square. So this 747 is uh, like if you if I'm going to take 700 so in that case I will have to find the square of 47 so finding the square of 47 is also not an easy task okay if I'm going to take 800 in that case I will have to find the square of 53 that's again not an easy task correct so what you will have to do so take the middle number middle number between 700 and 800 which is your 750 so in order to get 750 what you will have to do you will have to add 3 here and subtract then subtract 3 from here. So if you are going to subtract 3 from here, what you will get? You will get 744 and the same thing with a 3 square makes sure you to write 2 digits 09. What I have told you? Divide this by 100. If you divide this by 100, what you will get? You will get 75 upon 10. Okay. Further simplify it. 5, 2, 5, 15. You will get 15 upon 2 times 744. This in order to make the calculation simpler, what I will do, I can write this 15 upon 2 as 30 upon 4 multiplied by 744. Let's divide this 4 1 ja 4 34 4 8 ja 32 2 4 4 uh, 4 6 ja 24 186. Okay, and 186 times 3 means 30, which is equal to your double 5 8 0, and here it's 0 9. Here there is nothing to carry. So you got your answer. So your answer is simply double five eight zero zero nine. That's your answer. That's the square of seven forty seven square. Okay. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. So I will recommend go and so there is a homework which I am going to give you. So everyone will have to find the square of ten any ten number any ten number and find the square and post that answer in your comment section. So if you are and if you are having any doubt, any confusion, please feel free to ask your doubts, your question, your confusion in the comment section or you can also send me an email where info at the rate rapidgyan.com. Guys, I am promising you I will reply to your email. Okay. And again, I am going to say if you think this video is going to help you, please support us by subscribing the channel. Thank you. See you again.